Well, we're looking forward to an event that's coming up in September, I know. It's actually just around the corner. We had a quick debate about this, didn't we, Tony? Time's pressing on, <laughs> absolutely. Tony McIntosh here, who's looking after the end-to-end -end event. It's one of those things in our diaries every year. You know, everyone looks forward to it. Yeah. But <clears throat> probably now's the time to get entries in, I understand, you know, if you haven't already done it. Yeah, it's a great time at the end of the day. It's, well, it was 11 weeks last Sunday to the actual event. So yeah. um, if you want to start getting a bit of training in, now is the time to kind of right. get your trainers on. And For beginners, explain exactly what's in, involved here though. Okay, so the MFX end to end walk um, starts at the point of air and you've got 10 and a half hours to go, it goes through Peel, Dolby, ends up at the sound. Um, it's a challenging course, not gonna lie. The second half, there's a few hills in there, but it's definitely achievable. Yeah. Um, we've added half an hour extra on at the end, so you've got a little bit of extra time this year to finish the walk. Um, it is just walking, right? No. We, we have both. Oh. Um, last year we had um, an Olympian, um, da um, Jonathan Hobbs has entered this year. Yeah. Um, the Olympian last year was Don King, yeah. um, and he finished it in six hours, 15 thereabouts. Um, beat the course record. So we have everybody from that top 10%, which are the quick guys, mm -hmm. um, through to, as I say, the 90% who, yeah. they just wanna go out and, and see if they can do it. You know, you don't have to be an athlete, you don't have to be special. Just if you're determined and you can get some miles in, and go out and just give it a go and see how you get on. It is um, one of those events, as I said, that, that people set themselves this challenge to do it. Yes. And uh, we, we see quite a lot of people out on the streets and the roads warming yeah. up for this event as well, because you need to do a bit of getting into it, I guess. Yeah, as I say, with, with it being quite hilly at the end, I would definitely suggest get out and do some miles. I mean, you, you, you could do it, you yeah. could just turn up. People do it on the parish, they just turn up with, on the yeah. day and give it a go, but yeah. um, I think the, the, the after effects are less if you can get some miles in. Now, I know you've got a new sponsor involved this year, because obviously Ramsey Bakery's done more, so who's taking yeah. this over? Okay, so we've got our MFX Limited. Um, who have come on board and we're really thankful for them because they've given us the opportunity to continue the race. Um, May Hooper from MFX, she's finished the parish walk, she just finished a fifth one, oh, wow. so and she's on the end to end, so she fully understands what the event's about. Because there's obviously um, so much planning involved in these sort of things, isn't there? And, and that costs money and you know, things like that. It's hugely expensive to put the events on. Is it? Um, you'd be surprised, yeah. Um, I've, I've jumped on, the, the, basically what happened was the committee had done 10 years, um, Ramsey Bakery finished, so they kind of said, right, okay, they'll st take a step back, have a rest. Um, so we've now got a new committee formed. Um, still the same race director, Steve Taylor's still race director. Um, there's nine of us organising the event, and yeah, uh, it's, it, it is a dear do, it's a dear event to put on. All right. um, but it's a great event. So how so, do people enter it? I mean, website? Yeah, um, we have www.endtoendwalk.org. You can fire on there. We've got the Facebook page, which is proving really popular. Mm -hmm. um, we're updating that regularly. Um, we might try and get some training tips on there as well, if we, if we get the time. <laughs> um, and just, yeah, share, have a look on there. My details are on there as well. Any questions, you can email me. Um, and what's, what's the cost to enter this thing? Is it okay. Entries at the moment are £30. Uh -huh. um, they rise on the 1st of August to £35 and then entries close on the 3rd of September, completely. Okay. There's, there's so in other words, you need to be getting on with this now. Yeah. Yeah, that's always the way, early yeah. bird specials, basically. Absolutely. Um, How many people, um, I mean, at least all these things go up and down in different years. What's an average sort of year for how many people entering this thing? 100, well, 200? A couple of hundred. Oh, I right. mean, last year we had 165, which was classed as quite a low entry. Oh, okay. Um, from what, I, what the older boys keep telling me, because um, there's obviously no records going back to, it started in the 60s. Um, there was two, three hundred, four hundred people. Um, I would genuinely love to try and get a couple of hundred people, yeah. if not if not a few more. And you um, need a support team with you, I'm guessing, as well, do you? No. You um, I mean, the top end guys do. They, they generally have somebody with them in a sport car. Yeah. Um, I think we've got 11 water stations en route. Oh, so you're looking after people? We look after people, the toilets en route. There's everything there that, you know, there's bananas, water. Um, and is it weather dependent? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this is a great challenge. Not only do you leave all the hills to the end of this whole thing, but oh, the yeah. day comes and whatever that's going on, you've got to put up with it. Yeah. It was, it was 
it wasn't cancelled, it was actually shortened one year um, oh. because of fog on the slock. Uh, but that was before the days where we actually closed that road. Yeah. Um, so now, come rain or shine, we'll be cracking on and we'll be there. Okay. Let everybody start the race. Well, I, you know, one day, I'm sure it's inspiring some people out there to think about it. Maybe this is the year to get your walking boots on. I hope so, yeah. Get, go and give it a go, as I say. The MFX end-to-end -end walk, it's a brilliant event, community event. A couple hundred mad people at the <laughs> walking down the coast of the Isle of Man. What can be better? Mm -hmm.